such a long way. Ah, uh, my pleasure. Really glad to support you. Well, Would you like to tell the viewers about the rally? Well, yeah, we're, we're having a rally today against inappropriate development in New South Wales, and we, I've been fighting the Currawong fight for over a decade, and then we realised that there were so many people all over New South Wales whose communities are being shafted, as you so elegantly put it, by the planning laws of New South Wales. So we broadened, the, broadened our horizons and we've called people from all over New South Wales and they're coming here today, hopefully, and uh, we'll have a good protest and send a very clear message to the Minister. Have you any idea how many groups will be coming? Uh, we have received 50, over 50 dossiers, but I think there's well over 100 groups coming, and they're coming from western New South Wales, from all the great rivers, from the south coast, the north coast, the bush, everywhere. So hopefully it'll be great. And are they all coming as a result of Frank Sartor's new laws? Pretty much so, pretty much so. As soon as the, the democratic process was removed from planning, people started screaming and it just got progressively worse as this state government sort of created new laws that more and more took away the democracy from the planning department. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's basically 3A. Right. And how does that affect you in Currawong? Well, we've been fighting Karawong Beach for the last decade, as I said, and uh, it was always in the hands of our, our local, local council. Uh, this lot of developers turned up and they said to Frank Sartor, hey, this would be a bit of, you know, 3A, critical infrastructure of great importance to the state, uh, and then our local uh, council was stripped of its power, and we have no right of recourse. We can't go through our council and we can't go to the Land and Environment Court and uh, this development is not going to go ahead, so we need to work out another way of preventing it, uh, hence the big rally. So 3A critical infrastructure, does that mean the planning minister has the power to approve anything? If you want to knock down pretty much anything in New South Wales and build a big ugly block of flats or a Woolworth, no matter where it is, apparently you can do that and there's nothing we can do to stop it right now because the planning minister has all the power the to approve it total say total say planning minister it's, it's one person decides the entire fate of communities all over new south wales and there is no recourse for the community that's, no, that's no, got to stop no right of appeal well if it's 3a critical infrastructure i believe uh, we can't go to the land and environment court our, our appeals are exhausted and uh, there are community groups you know, falling over left right and center because their their rights have been taken from them got to stop that now. Oh, right. Yeah. And local governments, they have no say, I, I suppose. <sighs> it's a very complex... It, well, once you get into discussing the local government issue, it's quite complex with their positions and the legal issues. It'll take me like two days to explain how they're getting around it and why they're doing it. But suffice it to say, our rights have been deeply eroded and the state government has failed us badly in this area. It's a very clear message. We want our democracy back in our planning. We love our homes. We love our communities. We love our national parks. Leave them alone. So what do we need now? We need now, from the Minister, we need action. Meetings are great, but meetings are, are hopeless unless we have action. We want 3A to be trashed. 3A's had its day. Right, OK. Out with 3A. Yeah, 3A's had its day. OK.